can get them. Howdy folks, welcome to Blues Dogs, a new series on interviewing local musicians. We're starting off with three great guitar players. Blues great, Drew Davis, guitar great, Freddie Gerber, and the one and only Marco Canelli, creative songwriter. That's it, enjoy. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome today to uh, the Local Guitar Heroes and today we're featuring uh, an interview with a very peculiar looking fellow who goes by the name of Mr. Davis, Mr. Drew Davis. Mr. Drew Davis, um, tell me about this guitar that you got here. How you um, doing Tommy? This is uh, this is very interesting looking guitar. It should be, you probably won't see another one like it. It's a uh, Gibson, it's a gold top knockoff of something Gibson didn't make and I got this at a garage sale for a steal I figured I'd try it and hang it up as an ornament and it turns out it plays fantastic it's got a little bit of a Les Paul look to it but what drew me to it was the pick guard which is very similar to what Scotty Moore used with the Elvis Presley band which was an ES-295 which if I hit Lotto maybe I'll get one one day but for a garage sale $350 I brought this home from the Florida Loved it, played it. It only weighs maybe four pounds at the most. Has no center block. It's truly like an old vintage Gibson. So what I did was I brought it to my guitar tech, who basically went through it, took out the plastics, souped it up, made it decent and playable with a band, and through my tube amplifiers, this thing is wonderful. So compared to my 54 Gibson 125 or my old Silvertone 1427 my other American made guitars. This one, I call this my wonton. This thing is great. I love it. Hey, thank you very much. That's really it. interesting. And it's a beautiful, beautiful guitar. I like it very much. Uh, you know? That's yeah. nice. I like that gold. That gold is really looks like real gold. They did a really nice job with the gold flake for a fake. It's a beautiful guitar. <laughs> low action. And um, I'll tell you what. I could sell all my other guitars and just be happy with this one on acoustic, and I'm good to go. Well, well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Davis. Well, thank you, for, uh, for Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right. Hey, now we're here with another great guitar player, local <laughs> player, Freddie. We've got Freddie here today, and he's going to tell us about his guitar. Freddie's a lefty. And I don't know if, if you've had trouble finding the right guitar or not, but this is a beautiful instrument. You, can you give us a little information on it? Where you got it? When you got it? I got, why it, you got is, it? I got it. It's, first of all, it's a 1959 historic uh, collector's item. I got it in 92. Um, the only thing I had slightly modified is I put a little burst buckers on it. I didn't. Those are the pickups. Good, yeah. I good. didn't particularly care for the P90s that they came with. It just didn't give it enough for me. So I had that modified, and that's the only other thing I've had done. Everything else is original. Beautiful. I love the wood. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Yeah, right. it, is, it, is, it is a beauty. The, the, uh, Very comfortable playing. Um, I know that sometimes it's a weight factor. 12 pounds on your back. It wow. never bothered me. I mm. always enjoy it. Uh, it's got a smooth tone. Never let me down. I've had other guitars, but I've always come back to the Les Paul. Great, great. Well, thank you very much, and uh, uh, I enjoy uh, listening to that guitar. It's just got a nice sound. Got a nice sound. I enjoy it. It's never going to leave me. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Hey, we're here with Marco Canelli. Hey, Marco, what's happening? What's the name of your uh, new project? I am currently uh, in a project called the Road Commandos, and... This August we'll see the release of our second EP, uh, which is titled Chapter 2, Dogfight Over Detroit. Wow, Dogfight Over Detroit. And and who's that young lady, that beautiful <laughs> young lady you have working <laughs> the, with? The, the teen sensation Isabella Castillo and me are the road commandos. That's yes. cool, that's cool. Which means we have to do a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of musical patchwork between the two of us. So listen. Yes. Tell me about your favorite guitar uh, and why you bought it and how long you've had it. Okay, well, the favorite is, and it's my go-to and wouldn't trade it type of uh, instrument, is the Martin D35. 
Uh, this one I have had for 23 years. Uh, this guitar, and again, I, the way I came to really w w want this guitar was uh, a huge fan of the English band XTC. And in the beginning of 1999, they were, after seven years on a record label strike, had a new album come out. And I picked up uh, Acoustic Guitar World magazine. Uh, I'm not sure if this magazine is still around, but... And they did an interview with uh, with Andy Partridge and Colin Molding. Andy, he's the chief songwriter, and they talked about gear. Now I knew this was a band from Swindon, England. Didn't have a lot of money, ton of money, you know. Didn't have wasn't like Tom Petty where they owned every Gretsch guitar on planet Earth. But uh, they, I just loved the sound of XTC. I listened to to them a lot. And I, I was actively writing a lot. So in the magazine, they asked him what type of guitar he had, and he's had a Martin D35. So you would hear that, uh, you know, his beautiful guitar sound on so many of the records. You know, you'd hear things like it. Let's do it here. One, two, three, sorry. Let's so you would hear the beautiful guitar sound on a lot of the records. You know, you'd hear sounds like... You know, um, yeah, and nice. it was just really, uh, nice tone. it was so, so much that sonically acoustic sound that I liked a lot, and that's what gravitated me towards the D35. D uh, is for Dreadmont, 35 is the model number, uh, unique about this Martin guitar. Um, it constructs three different pieces of wood. This is an Indian rosewood, wow. and the top is uh, spruce. That's gorgeous. Um, you know, and you know, I learned, I didn't understand a lot of the makeup of guitars. I still don't spot individual things on guitar per se. Uh, I'm more interested in the sound I hear, or what, what, you know, what I'm listening to. But it is just it was very sonically balanced and resonating. The, the forthcoming Rogue Commandos record, there's guitars recorded at home, you know, like on the wood floors in different spaces of the house. And you just hear the, you know, the really, res you know, and it just you know so, so many of the songs fall into this and whether it's just a simple rhythm or it's a focal point of the song uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of it, it always provides a very nice sound hey uh, thank you thank you very much Marco Canelli